finding the right balance between urgency and patience. A lot of people get this equation backwards. They're patient when it comes to putting in the effort, but they're in a crazy rush to see the results. And this kind of mindset can be a real dream killer. Welcome to Philosopher Insights, the podcast that delivers wisdom in minutes a day that you can put into practice daily and strive to master over a lifetime. The podcast committed to sharing ideas that encourage you to bridge the gap between who you are today and the person you aspire to be in the future. Hi, my name is Herb Lamba and welcome to my podcast where I will share practical insights from the world's best authors. Knowledge is not power. Applied knowledge is. The quest to become the best version of you starts right now. Hi, and welcome to Philosopher Insights. My name is Herb Lamba. Today, we're going to take a look at Change Your World, How Anyone Anywhere Can Make a Difference. The author of the book is John Maxwell with Rob Hoskins. I wanted to share a number of my favorite insights from this book, starting with Change My World, The Mindset, Urgency, Good Intention versus Good Action, Become a Possibilist, Transformation Leadership, Good Values, Transformation Tables, The Other Side of Yes, the power of a story, and finish it off with your next step. So let's start with the introduction. Quote, This book has been written to encourage and equip you to be a catalyst for transformation in your world, your family, your workplace, your community. If you are already changing your world, we hope to help you become even better at it. If you're not yet involved in making a positive difference in the lives of others, we hope to encourage you to get started. And we want to teach you how to intentionally add value to people because anyone, anywhere, can make a difference. Changing the world happens one life at a time. We are committed to helping people like you become a light of hope within your community. If change is possible, why aren't we doing more to change our world? The Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu said, quote, If we don't change the direction we're going, we are likely to end up where we are headed. End quote. The reality is that most of us are waiting for somebody else to do something about the problems we see. We want change, but we hope that someone somewhere will do something to bring it about. But the fact is that we can't wait for change. If we want the world to be a better place, and we hope for conditions of need in the world to improve, then we need to change. We need to take action. Transformation is possible for anyone willing to learn and live good values, value people, and collaborate with others to create a positive value culture. That means you can change your world. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be famous. You don't have to move to another country. You don't even need an education. You don't need an organization. And you certainly don't need someone else's permission. You need to give yourself permission. You can transform yourself and the world around you. End quote. Welcome to Change Your World. I am thrilled to be sharing with you this incredible book by John Maxwell. Let me tell you, there are two main reasons why I just had to pick up this book. Firstly, John Maxwell is an incredible author with years of experience and wisdom to share. And second, the title of the book really spoke to me, Change Your World. Notice he didn't title the book Change the World. That's too massive, too overwhelming a task that can leave us feeling helpless and insignificant. But John's message in this book is an important one. He emphasizes that in order to make a real difference in the world, we must first focus on changing our own world. And let's face it, there's never been a more important time for this type of message. With all the changes and uncertainties happening in our world today, people are in desperate need of hope and guidance. If you are ready to take charge of your own life and become a force for positive change, then this book is definitely for you. I am honored to be able to share some of my favorite insights, so let's begin. Insight number one, change my world, the mindset. Quote, we want you to adopt a change my world mindset. You have much greater control over your ability to accomplish difficult things than you might believe, but you must have hope and believe in yourself. People can change. Over the years, I've discovered that people change when one or more things happen. People can change when they hurt enough that they have to. People can change when they see enough that they are inspired to. People change when they learn enough that they want to and people change when they receive enough that they're able to, end quote. I can confidently state that your motivation to initiate change can be classified into one of those four fundamental categories. However, if you find yourself lacking that inspiration or impetus to take action, I am optimistic that this book will provide you with the necessary tools and guidance to discover your unique strengths and abilities, enabling you to become the change agent you aspire to be and transform the world around you. Insight number two, urgency. Quote, Change begins on the inside. 
We need to tap into our desire to see change happen and enable it to strengthen into a sense of urgency. Then we need to sustain that sense of urgency. As Ralph Marston, author of The Daily Motivator, said, Success requires both urgency and patience. Be urgent about making the effort and patient about seeing the results. When you harness your hope and tap into a sense of urgency for change, it only increases your desire to see that change come about. You could call it a kind of positive, healthy discontent. But without urgency, you lose momentum and energy. End quote. After reading hundreds of books, I've learned a thing or two about what it takes to achieve success. And let me tell you, there's a key ingredient that often gets overlooked. Finding the right balance between urgency and patience. A lot of people get this equation backwards. They're patient when it comes to putting in the effort, but they're in a crazy rush to see the results. And this kind of mindset can be a real dream killer. Insight number three, good intention to good action. Quote, people with good intentions want to add value to others, but find reasons not to do it. People with good actions want to add value to others and find ways to do it. People with good intentions can be passive, inconsistent, and disappointing. People with good actions are deliberate, consistent, and willful. Good actions represent the dividing line between words and results. That is why the biggest gap between failure and success is the distance between I should and I did. End quote. Having good intentions is a great start, but it's not enough to create real change in the world. In order to make a difference, we have to take action. Intentions are great, but they're really just a starting point. They're like a spark that ignites a fire. Without the fuel and oxygen to keep it burning, the spark will quickly fizzle out. Similarly, if we don't take action to follow through on our intentions, they're unlikely to have any real impact. How many times have you set a goal or made a promise to yourself, only to let it fall by the wayside after a few days or maybe a few weeks? It's not that you didn't mean well or have good intentions, but without taking consistent, intentional action, it's tough to make lasting change. Insight number four, become a possibilist. Quote, we need to both do something to change the world and see positive things happening in the world. When you think like a possibilist, you are actively on the lookout for the possibilities in the world. Sadly, most people could use possibility therapy. They're like the people who either see nothing but doom and gloom in the world and lose hope, or they are blind or indifferent to the problems around them. End quote. Being a possibilist to me means having a mindset that is focused on opportunities and potential rather than limitations and obstacles. People who approach challenges with a sense of optimism and creativity are always looking for ways to turn a difficult situation into an opportunity for growth and advancement. Rather than getting bogged down in a negative self-talk or limiting beliefs, a possibilist reframes their thinking and sees the potential in every situation. Insight number five, transformational leadership. Quote, Transformation begins with influence, and influence always flows from the top down, like a waterfall, not upward. For transformation to happen, the leaders must be involved. If the leaders of the organization sent their teams to the training, the results were uneven and unremarkable. If the leaders joined their teams in the training, the results were consistent and positive. To have a chance of significant transformation, the leaders must give their voice of approval, influence, and involvement to the movement. While influence flows down, transformation climbs up. That's why we associate it with the image of a ladder. When you help people to improve their lives, they rise up. They begin to dream of a better world, which is fantastic. Because the only tragedy greater than dying with dreams unfulfilled is never to dream at all. End quote. Helping people improve their lives can be a ripple effect that goes far beyond just themselves. When we encourage people to dream big, help them develop strong values, and empower them to pursue their goals. We're not just making their lives better, we're also setting them up to make a positive impact on the world around them. It's like this. When we're just focused on surviving day to day, it's tough to think about anything beyond our own needs and struggles. We're so caught up in just trying to make it through that we don't have much bandwidth for anything else. When we develop a significance mindset, we're asking ourselves questions like, how can I make someone else's day? Or, what could I do to help others succeed? Instead of being stuck in our own problems and limitations, we're able to see the potential for growth and progress all around us. Insight number six, good values. Quote, I'm known for stating that everything rises and falls on leadership. But do you know what two things are responsible for making leadership rise? The first is competence. 
No one wants to follow an incompetent leader. The second is values. Values are principles that guide your decisions and behaviors. When those values are good, they bring only benefits, never harm, to yourself and others. When leaders have good values, which are reflected in their behaviors, people are willing to trust and to follow them. Good values allow leaders and everyone else to help others. Dobson's observation was that people become disillusioned when they discover they have been living the wrong value system. He describes it this way. All of a sudden, you'll realize the ladder you've been climbing is leaning against the wrong wall. If we want to change our world, we can't just climb the ladder of success. We need to climb the ladder of good values, end quote. It wasn't until I took the Optimized Coach program that I understood the importance of value-based living. It is difficult to lead a positive life or inspire the lives of others when you don't take time to identify the values that matter to you. Most people feel devalued instead of valued by others, and this has very harmful effects on them. Value-based living is essential for leadership and personal growth because it allows individuals to live their lives according to their own guiding principles. By embodying values such as gratitude, commitment, kindness, forgiveness, and perseverance, leaders can inspire their teams and foster a positive work environment built on trust. Quote, For leadership to be good and lasting, it must be preceded by good living. Good living comes from good values. If there's a disconnect between what you say is important and what you do, then teaching values is worthless. So is rhetoric. The actions we take are what gives us the credibility. End quote. Insight number seven, transformation tables. Quote, maybe I should have figured this sooner. I know that the good values my brother, sister, and I learned from my parents were formed around the dinner table, where we talked every night. Many of the lessons that formed my thinking and my leadership were learned around a small conference table in a circle of leaders. And some of the best mentoring sessions I've led have been with a few people around a table, where we were honest and vulnerable, speaking freely and learning from one another. Change happens around the table. If you want to help people transform their lives, then you will want to learn how to gather small groups around a table and get them talking about good values and how to apply them to their everyday lives, end quote. Transformation tables are a powerful tool for personal growth and development that anyone can start. By answering two simple questions, you can create a supportive and collaborative environment that will help you and others achieve your goals and improve your lives. So if you believe that your circle of influence will improve if you improve yourself, and that others want to improve their lives, then it's time to start your first transformation table and take the first step towards positive change. Quote, transformation tables work because they help people to change how they think about themselves. When people meet regularly at transformation tables to examine, discuss, and apply good values to their lives every week, they are changing their perspective about their identities. End quote. Insight number eight, the other side of yes. Quote, when you live on the other side of yes, you believe there is always an answer. In fact, you feel certain that there is not just one answer. You believe there are many good answers. That makes you willing to work to find them, and it also fires you up to be part of them. People who live on the other side of yes find hope in every situation. They believe every person is not only worth helping, but actually can be helped. And they bring that hope to the people that need it. Those who have lost hope become discouraged and don't see a positive way forward. Living on the other side of yes is life-giving, end quote. Living on the other side of yes can be a daunting prospect, but it's often where the magic happens. It's where we take chances and find hope in the unknown. When we say yes to new opportunities, we open ourselves up to possibilities that we may never have imagined before. And that hope can be contagious. It can inspire us to take risks, to keep saying yes, and to keep growing and evolving as individuals. So embrace the unknown. Step out of your comfort zone and remember that on the other side of yes, anything is possible. Insight number nine, the power of story. Quote, stories also help people to remember what they've learned. They're sticky. That's one of the reasons I've always told stories in my books. Facts fade, but stories stick with people. When they embrace the story, even if they've forgotten the facts, the story can lead them back to the truth contained within it. Research bears this out. Experts have found that when people hear stories, the pleasurable hormone oxytocin called the cuddle or holiday hormone is released. No wonder Jennifer Aker, General Atlantic Professor of Marketing at Stanford University's Graduate School of Business, found that stories are remembered up to 22 times more than facts alone. If you want people to remember what you communicate in a transformation conversation, include a story, end quote. 
Stories activate different parts of the brain than analytical or logical thinking alone. When we hear a story, we don't just process the words. We also experience the emotions and sensations that are being conveyed. This allows us to connect with the story on a deeper level, which makes it more memorable and impactful. By sharing stories about the impact of a particular initiative or the positive change that is possible, leaders can help to create a shared sense of vision and direction that can motivate people to work together towards a common goal. Insight number 10. Your next step. Quote, what step will you take to change your world? Where can you help other people and make a difference? Remember, you don't have to worry about changing the whole world. If you can just make things better for someone in your world, you will experience the reality, joy, and satisfaction of making a difference. What matters now is that you do something. Get started today and find out where it leads. Even if it turns out totally different from what you expect, you'll enjoy the journey and you'll never regret working to make a difference because it will change your world and you, end quote. As a longtime fan of John Maxwell, I have to say that those last words in his book really resonated with me. I find his writing to be incredibly inspiring and so full of wisdom. There's always something new to learn and apply to my own life. So my hope for you today is that you've taken away some valuable insights that you can put into practice. Maybe it's a new way of thinking about leadership or a fresh perspective on personal growth. Whatever it is, I encourage you to take action and start implementing these ideas into your own life. Who knows what kind of transformation you might be able to achieve. If you're interested in learning more about the great work that John Maxwell and Rob Hoskins are doing, I would urge you to check out www.changeyourworld.com. That's www.changeyourworld.com. You've been listening to Philosopher Insights with your host, Herb Lambert. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to support the podcast, please share it with others, post about it on social media, or leave a rating and review. To go deeper with me, you can register for free at www.philosopherinsights.com for instant access to a growing library of philosopher insights, which are 8 to 10 page PDFs, plus 20 minute MP3s that break down my favorite insights from the world's best personal development books. To catch all the latest from me, you can follow me on Facebook at Optimal Herb. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.